We cover Artists Against Apartheid, the Montreal oil spill, and the first Muslim fest in Montreal right now on CUTV News. Welcome to CUTV News. This is Elsa. CUTV went to look at some of the damage done by the oil spill on the St. Lawrence River. But first, CUTV was at Artists Against Apartheid. Here's what we saw. That letter that was sent around the world issued support for the growing global campaign of boycott, divestment and sanctions against the Israeli government. That letter comes from a context and that context is the relationship and the important relationship between social movements and the arts here in our city. We live in a city where the arts are not simply products to be sold on the marketplace, but we live in a city where the arts mean something. We live in a city where the arts take part in community. And we live in a city where arts take part in struggles for social justice. My name is Stefan Christoph, and I'm a member of TADAM, which is a collective in Montreal that facilitates a project called Artists Against Apartheid, which is an effort to bring together uh, artists from many disciplines in Montreal, musicians, dancers, writers, uh, painters, poets, in support of the struggle for Palestinian liberation. And it's a project that now stretches back over three years. Um, we've had um, now 13 concerts. It's our 13th concert. L'apartheid de la Palestine, c'est tout. C'est le même combat quelque part qu'ici, que partout, partout dans le monde. En Afrique, c'est la même chose. Je veux dire, c'est un combat international. Que tu sois Première Nation du Canada ou que tu sois, que tu viens de la Palestine, c'est juste qu'il y a des années de différence. Je veux dire, là-bas, ils vivent en ce moment ce que nous, on a vécu il y a comme 400 ans. T'sais. Fait que non, je pense que d'être là, puis d'être impuissant par rapport à tout ça, puis de voir ça de loin à la télé ou de voir ça comme ça, je pense que juste par la musique, tu on peut pas faire grand-chose, mais par la musique, minimalement, on peut offrir quelque chose, partager quelque chose, puis si ça l'aide à une cause, à une bonne cause, une soirée bénéfice comme ça, ben ça me fait plaisir d'être là. Muslim Fest has been going on for seven years. This Saturday was the first time in Montreal. Take a look at some of the rich cultural events that were part of Montreal Muslim Fest this year. CU TV, what's up, what's poppin', what's good in your world? Welcome to Muslim Fest. Please don't leave I need you now more than you know. An event like Muslim Fest down in Montreal City is important because all of a sudden what we see in Canada, let alone Montreal City, is the growth of a very strong community that's actually growing in numbers and so it's undeniable that you may have a neighbor or a friend who happens to be Muslim or of a Muslim background and because of this what we want to do is bring the faith to you and the people out there so that you have a better understanding of what's going on or what your neighbor f uh, celebrates in the month of Ramadan or what's happening after Ramadan so on and so forth. Summertime is great, summertime is all about having a barbecue, getting around. Muslim Fest itself is a celebration of what we see in the Muslim world, different cultures, different colors, different sounds, different people, music and melody. So come on down, different tastes, different foods. So what we have down here is arts and crafts, calligraphy, graph art done by my man El Seed. We have an art exhibit down at Oscar Peterson Hall, shows by Muslim comedians like Allah Made Me Funny. We've got free shows down there and in a nutshell we've got a whole bunch of tents for arts and you know fabrics and all sorts of things that you know you find in the Muslim world we have kids like this one down here and then all of a sudden we've got uh, balloons and cotton candy so just come on down for a good time and if you missed it last year be sure to come down and catch us next year God willing we'll be ready to serve you we're waiting for you Montreal come on it's hard 
to imagine the damage done by the oil spill off the Gulf of Mexico, but even a small oil spill is devastating to both wildlife and commerce. On the night of July 12, a Canada steamship line freighter, the Richelieu, docked out from Thunder Bay, Ontario and lost power just south of Montreal at around 7.30 p.m. The ship ran aground and punctured one of its two fuel tanks. Between 50 and 200 tons of diesel bunker fuel was released into the canal. We interviewed a representative from Environment Canada. We have three kilometers of shoreline is contaminated. We had four birds that we captured yesterday and they, we sent this bird at the hospital of, in Saint-Hyacinthe. It's the vet, uh, vet center in Saint-Hyacinthe. So they cleaned the bird and today uh, the bird is uh, in good shape. The wildlife survivors told me that the bird is very in good shape, so that's good. That's a great... Uh, uh, great news because we are well prepared and we have a good team and we do a lot of prevention with the company. We work very often with this kind of company just with uh, in, in type of training or course or, or just workshop. We work with them and say how we, we can work together if it, if it happens. Three days after the spill approximately 18 freighters will be lined up unable to move due to the unfinished cleaning. That's it for this week's episode of CUTV News. I'm Elsa. Join us on Facebook for a behind-the-scenes look at our team here at CUTV. We'll see you next week.